Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about this concept that there might be a particular body type that is obese or sick because of a particular organ. For example, the liver type or adrenal body type. I've seen this throughout my 20 year career. I've seen it in magazines. Um, there's some um, ancient healing traditions that say this. And I wanna address this. I've never subscribed to this idea in my 20 year career. But um, I came upon some uh, information from 1932 from Dr. Henry Harrower. He's the father of endocrinology. I read through this over the weekend, and I have piles of books of old medical textbooks in my house, and I got some in my iPad, so I'm going to read some paragraphs to you from my iPad. But this is his chart that he created, and it shows all these different endocrine organs and how they're related to each other. So there's lines throughout here, and they'll inhibit or stimulate each other. Okay, so Dr. Harrower says, um, endocrine obesity exists to be sure, but obesity resulting from demonstrable endocrine dysfunction is uncommon. Some 3% of the cases studied. So really we're talking about only 3% of people um, who are overweight or unhealthy because of an endocrine dysfunction primarily. Um, the other causes are exogenous, meaning from outside of the body. So that'd be diet and toxicity. Those are the two things. And certainly it's way worse now with our toxins in our environment, in our food, our high carbohydrate eating. It's way worse now than it was in 1932. In 1932, all the farming was organic. Every single farm was organic. Okay, so it says here, the metabolism of growth is not under the jurisdiction of any single secretion or gland. The subtle government of the body economy being too democratic in this, as in most of its other processes, seldom yields to the domination of one gland. First in importance are the thyroid, the pituitary, and the sex glands. That's thyroid, pituitary, and sex glands. And next, the adrenals, the pancreas, and the thymus. So here's the adrenals, the pancreas, and the thymus. So he grouped together these glands as they function together. Okay, then he quotes a researcher from uh, Denmark in 1929 named Christensen referring to um, adrenal problem, uh, a condition, and he says a combination and fusion of any two or all three uh, types um, is the usual condition encountered in adult life. So it's not just like a liver type, but it's going to be liver, adrenal, thyroid, or, or pituitary, pineal, um, sex hormones. It's going to be an axis, if you will. That's a term used in... Uh, um, endocrine uh, circles is the, the axis, the hypothalamus pituitary axis, for example. Okay, so when, when you look at the supplement lines that have been around for many decades, they'll combine in one product several different organ support. So, for example, Systemic Formulas has a product called uh, GA Adrenal. It's got thyroid in it. So it's an <laughs> adrenal product with thyroid in it. They're... Um, thyroid product is called GF thyroid. Well, guess what? It's got adrenal in it. So if a holistic doctor or any doctor says to you, your thyroid needs support, and they give you pure thyroid plus adrenal uh, plus um, iodine, that's valid therapy, but it's better if it's got adrenal in it and pituitary support in it. So you want to do pluriglandular therapies, not just singular, single glandular therapies. So this is a, a point here that I'd like you to know so you can think with this for the rest of your life because that's just how your body works. There's not just one single organ that goes downhill. It's a group of them. It's the whole body uh, in combination. All right, if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and share and subscribe. Thank you.